If you use Windows 11, you clicked on this video because you want to optimize your PC to get the best possible performance out of your PC. So today I'll be explaining the best Windows 11 settings that will get you higher FPS and lower input delay. No matter what gaming system you use, this guide will definitely benefit you. Please drop a like and subscribe as I'm trying to hit my goal of 2000 subs by the end of the month. So let's get into the video. Before we start optimizing, create a restore point just in case something goes wrong with your PC or your performance gets worse. Because I don't want little Timmy in the comments saying, you made my FPS worse. So please create one before starting. If you do, you can simply revert all the changes back with ease. First, let's start with optimizing our Windows settings. Disable Game Bar, open Settings, go to Gaming, go to Game Bar and disable it. This automatically opens at launch with Windows and can cause FPS drops. Enable Game Mode. Go back into Settings, go to Gaming, go to Game Mode and make sure this is on. This optimizes your PC for gaming by disabling processes and services, which should improve FPS. Disable Notifications. Open up the Windows Settings, you want to head into System, go down to Notifications and in there, Disable Notifications. Next, scroll down to Additional Settings, where you'll see two boxes. Make sure to uncheck all three of these options. This will disable those super annoying stutter-causing pop-ups on Windows. Enable Storage Sense. Open Settings, go to Storage, and make sure Storage Sense is enabled. This cleans up your PC by deleting unnecessary files, which can free up storage. Low storage can cause your computer to run slowly and lead to game crashes. Changing your power settings. Press the Windows key and type in Edit Power Plan, then click on the options. Click on Change Advanced Power Settings, and by default you can see that it is on balance. But there's also a high performance option as well, which if you do want more FPS, especially those on low-end PCs, I'd highly recommend selecting that option. In Settings again, this time go into Apps. Under apps and features, you'll notice there are a ton of apps that you probably don't use and they're taking up resources, so just go through all these apps and remove any of them that are completely useless to you, as I'm doing right here on my screen. Under startup apps, it's pretty much the same principle. Simply turn off any startup apps that you don't think you need to start up with your PC. Not only will this increase login times and PC boot times, but these programs will be automatically running in the background every single time you log in, taking up CPU cycles and resources. You can see some have a higher impact than others. Just go through and see which ones that you don't need to start up with your PC. I would highly recommend that you focus more or so on the higher impact apps more than anything. Next up, Graphic Settings. Simply open Settings and go to System, then Display and click on Graphics. Click on Change Default Graphics Settings and enable both Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling as well as Optimization for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games by using GPU to render. After that, go back to Graphics and right over here, click on the Browse button and then go to the Install Location of your game. Once you're here, go over to Binaries, Win64, and in here, you'll find win64shipping.exe. Click on Add. As for my example, it's already added to my list. Find it, click on it, go over to Options, and then click on High Performance, then click on Save. Next, on your desktop, you want to press the Windows key and R. A run box will appear inside you want to type in Temp. A folder will appear. You then want to press Ctrl A to select all the temporary files and then you can delete all of them by pressing the delete key. It'll state that some can't be deleted which is okay. Just click do this for all current items and skip it. Then it will continue. Inside the run box again you want to type in percent temp percent. Then hit enter. On the temp folder that would open up do the same thing by pressing Ctrl A to select everything then you can go ahead and delete them all with a trash bin on top and then follow the same process as before for the final one which in you'll type in prefetch then grant permission. Select all the files again with control A and then delete them all yet again. Next up is CPU optimizations. Press the Windows key plus R, type msconfig, open system configuration and go to boot advanced options. Click on number of processors and set it to the highest number available. 
Next up, we'll try disabling HPET in Windows to reduce latency and increase FPS. Click on the Windows key and search for Device Manager. Select Device Manager inside of this tab, take yourself down to the S section, and we're going to be looking for System Devices. But inside of System Devices, you then want to find the High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on this entry and disable this device. Next up, it's closing access launchers and apps. For the basic settings, we can navigate down to the bottom right-hand side, click on our task icon tray, and start by closing out any and all programs that you don't need open. A common mistake people run into if you're playing a game on Steam or on Epic Games, you don't need every single game launcher open. Just take yourself to the bottom right-hand side, right-click on these applications that you don't need running when playing your game, and exit out of them. Last but not least, GPU optimizations. Now, I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'll be showing NVIDIA graphics related stuff. Right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings and copy my settings, though I didn't change much in my settings. Check out my in-depth guide on each setting, link at the end of this video. Bonus tip, GeForce overclocking. Open up the NVIDIA app. If you don't have it, you can download the NVIDIA app, link in the description if you don't have it. Go to System, then Performance, and enable Automatic Tuning to overclock your GPU conservatively and boost FPS slightly. Keep in mind that it will take 10-20 to 20 minutes in keeping your PC idle with no games running for the overclock to take effect. If the overclock made your FPS or system worse, there is a restore option as well. Make sure to restart your PC for all changes to take effect. Let me know in the comments if this helped, and let me know if I should continue making these videos. Also, do share your tips with me in the comments as well. Peace out.